Hey you guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice, today we are going to play Lake. Lake just released on Xbox Series S and X and Xbox One, and um, curious, so uh, let's go check it out. Oh, forgot something, oh my goodness. First of all, let's see how much data the game is on your hard drive, and that's 2.3 gigabytes. Game is fully optimized for Xbox Series S and X. And I don't think it's on Game Pass, but I also don't think it's a very expensive game, but it's a very nice game. So, it's Generation Scarlet, so it's Generation 9. That means it's fully optimized for the new gen consoles. And uh, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it means a lot for me. So, yeah, Lake. I think Lake uh, already got an amazing update last year, I think it was. Or update, a demo. And it really caught my eye. So I was really looking forward to this indie game. And um, yeah, it, it really is a nice game. So takes a little bit of time to load. Would be a little bit better, but... It's a very big game. For such a small game, it's very big. Yeah, I, I'm completely saying r strange things right now. But yeah, this is um, Lake running on Xbox Series S. It's not 60 FPS. I've tested it. And the game, most of the time, runs at about... 50 FPS. Good morning, Providence Oaks. So the day of I, I tried a lot of things, and even in the settings, I really need to make one of the settings different because I am an inverted player, and somehow it we always, always on PO positive or standard. And yeah, this is like a PO open positive. world, postal surface, story-driven game. Back. And yeah, it's really soothing. It's a very uh, relaxing game. You're in this um, quiet mountain town. In a quiet mountain. But yeah, this is a quiet mountain town around a big lake. And you have to bring yeah all the postage packages away. To oh, darn it. So dumb. But I do think it runs at 1440p because the game looks incredible. So it's made in the Unity engine and yeah, if you follow me and you know me talking about some engines, I really like the Unreal Engine because that one always runs good on Xbox Series consoles. But the Unity engine can really be a hit or miss. Because I've seen games that look incredible with the Unity engine. This is one of them, by the way. And I've also seen games run in the Unity engine that were like, oh my goodness. You guys really need to go back to school and do something different because... Yeah, I think this is a little bit too much for you. And this game, yeah, this game runs perfectly fine. It's not 60 FPS, but it's not a headache inducing 50 FPS. Just as big and or a yeah, frame rate that stutters or anything. I don't even mind it that much that it's... If it's stable, that's much more important. I think it's much more important than a game runs stable than a game that runs... Then 30, then 40, then 50. Get out of the car. See what we got. Oh, got a big package. Real hotel. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Ah, that's my buddy Peter playing uh Um 
on the console right now on his PC. Here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. It's really into Isn't the that game. That a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day. Yeah. He's definitely into it. So, okay, bye. And this is a little bit like the story. There, there, I don't want to say a lot about the story because there, it's, it's pretty nice so it's it's overall it's just a nice game i think that's the perfect way to <laughs> talk about this game it's really relaxing soothing and yeah, driving around being a little bit like uh, postman pete and bring packages and letters to everyone talk with the people because this is a place where you lived as a child and you came back 22 years later or something to help out a friend that has a post office in this area and yeah you're you're getting back in touch with those people you n knew way back when i like those shadow effects by the way good thing there are no extra Camera option. Yeah, you can a bit higher like this. There's not much more. Oh, this is a game you 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 can you, you will play on a rainy Sunday afternoon, and it's relaxing in the house, and it's uh, maybe a little bit of autumn, and you're you're you're, you're under your little uh, snuggy. Uh, Blanket. And just really enjoying. Very, very relaxing it. Letter this place. So, and if they can make a lawn mowing simulator without a story, this post. Postal Service Simulator with a story. I think it's very fun to play. Also Here's gets very, very high review. Because it looks incredible. It has own style. And yeah. Somehow I was really looking forward to this game. And I don't know why. Because games don't always need to be super fast and high-end shooters and stuff. Sometimes they can be relaxing. Like this. I think and talk to probably her, her letter. Cat lady. Meryl, dear. So glad you could come. Miss Jenkins. Up. Oh, it's I think Miss Jenkins. I will call her Nicole. What's wrong Nicole with Jenkins? Jenkins? It's poor. Because she likes Mortimer. cats. He's fallen ill, I think. No good friend of mine. Well, she's now like. No, I'm Next not that. He, well, he just <laughs> wasn't. I mean, I'm, I'm kidding, not a Nicole. Vet, I'm kidding. He looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Matt. Mr. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure, I'll get right on it. Sure thing. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair oh. in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. I love. Let's bring cat. Star. I think I put it. Yeah. 
better. Enter. See where the cat needs to be. Where do I... Ah, there. Oh, that's not there. First, I'm going to deliver this post thing. Okay. Right around the corner. This one away. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever met. I love them. it. I don't know why. And I can't imagine that a lot of people will love this game. Because it is a good game. It is a fun, fun, relaxing, soothing game. And there's a real story in it. That's that's also something. Like and that's the cool thing also about about um, indie games, because you never know what you get. It can't be f anything. If you get a Ubisoft game, you're almost certain what kind of game it is. You get a EA game what it is that's the cool thing about these indie games there's always something else or something different the cat bring it to her maggie love these don't know why it's very minimalistic still ah okay now i see it go back to the back i hear it Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals and... Ah, well... she's called Mildred, so she's not called Nicole. If, if she wasn't oh, called Nicole, I was there, really laughing fellow. really hard. What's your name? <laughs> Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? To be honest, I to have no honest. idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that <laughs> lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Also very good voice acting game. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else I could say about this game. But, yeah. Really, thank you for watching this video of the Xbox Tester. And I really hope you like this game. Go check it out. I think it's releasing the 1st of September. So uh, if you are watching this video earlier, you have to wait a little bit. But yeah, this this one is one for the books. I think it's a very, very good game. So go check it out. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.